Scorch is tracking the meteor ring, Commander Vector. Spectroanalysis? Confirm. Substance, Zeranium. 100 times more powerful than uranium and highly unstable. Oh! All fighters, return to base. Red alert. Nightingale returning to carrier. Uh-oh, I've got a bogey. Oh! Hubba, return to Skull Squadron mobile base immediately. Yeah, yeah, after I take care of business, your sliminess. I think you'll get a charge out of this, Ms. Jenny. Nightingale, this is Vector. Cub and Baron can reach you in two minutes. Negative. I might need the bogey. It's only hubbub. No assistance required. Sky Tiger to Baron. You copy those transmissions, Baron? Yeah. A mere woman is no match for hubbub. Jenny is. But it can't hurt to be nearby, just in case. for my friend. I can't see. I'll use my radar. Radar won't help you now. I lost her, Baron. She's off the scope. <laughs> I told you. A woman is no match for a man in battle. She needs our help. Let's go. Gone. Well, two could play at that game. I'll make myself invisible on a radar and wait her out. Oh, now the radar cloaking hubbub? You're so predictable. But my tracker is giving you away. Baron, I've lost hubbub too. Why should he stay around if he got her? Come on, let's find Jenny. Far out, sitting ducks. Nothing here. Let's break off and search the mountains. Roger. Ring Raiders, two for the price of one. <laughs> I've got you radar lock, Cub, you wimpo. You can run, but you can't hide. Sky Tiger, this is Nightingale. I know you're a little busy, so just do what I tell you. Jenny? When I tell you, I want you to dive. Full power, right now. <laughs> nice shooting, Jenny. Thanks. Baron. Behind your cup. Lucky shot, Jenny. Yeah, we'll talk. Are you all right, Baron? Huh? I, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Good. I'm glad. By the way, did you two copy my transmission to Vector? Uh, what transmission? You know, the one where I said I had the situation under control? Hmm. But of course. Uh, we heard what we just done. Well, the next time a section commander says the situation is under control, you'd better listen. I think we messed up, Baron. Uh, she is a woman. She was lucky. Don't underestimate women, Baron. Report to the video room on the double, both of you.
In order to avoid uh, incidents like today's episode, I think you two should know a little about Section Commander Gale. Jenny's first love was flying. This is her in the Civil Air Patrol. The youngest member of her unit to solo. Vietnam, 1970. Captain Gale served as a nurse in the U.S. Army Medical Corps. After working in a field hospital for a while, she decided she could save more lives if she went against Army regulations and accompanied the medevac units into combat areas. Because of their admiration for her, the pilots in Vietnam broke the rules and trained her. She became an excellent pilot and saved more lives than any male medevac pilot in Vietnam. But the time came when she was found out. Still, when the men needed help and no one else could give it, she defied orders and flew in to bring them out. Then finally, her luck ran out. Outnumbered and outgunned, she drew the enemy away from the stranded platoon. She held out for a long time, but finally... We decided it was time to step in. We recruited Jenny for her piloting skills, but she wanted to continue saving lives. With our learning computers and med lab, Jenny became a doctor in four months. So, as I said, Commander Gale is one person you don't want to underestimate. 100% right, sir. I'm sure she is a valuable addition to the med lab, but a woman in combat, never. Why, in my day, a woman stayed where she belonged. Things are different now, Baron. Ring Commander Vector, we need you on the bridge. The meteor will enter the atmosphere in nine minutes. Commander, intelligence confirms that Scorch is preparing to intercept the meteor. Radium. With its power, I could destroy Vector and the Ring Raiders once and for all. I must have that meteor. It's in Siberia. Scramble the... Good day, Commander Scorch. Scout Leader Scorch, we're surrounded by Ring Raiders! What? You lie, Blackjack. On the contrary, for once he's telling the truth. I'm afraid you can't have this meteor, Scorch. <sighs> There's something about the Z-Radium you don't know. It... Don't tell me what I do and don't know. I'll blast your puny little fighter into atoms. And blow yourself up? I think not. <laughs> He's right, Skull Leader Scorch. Shut up, you lackey! As I was saying, the Z-Radium meteor is highly unstable. And if it's not neutralized within two hours, it will explode and melt the Earth's crust. The planet will be totally destroyed within 12 hours. You lie! This is a trick so you can get the Z-Radium yourself!
My fighters are time-locked on your ship, and communications will be jammed until our mission is completed. Good day, Commander Scorch. Gross out! It's a trick! Vector wants that meteor for himself! And we're the only ones that can stop him! Kick in your cloaking device so we don't show up on radar, and let's boogie! You don't have to land. Just drop the radiation neutralizer and get out of there. Remember, the world is counting on you. <laughs> Nothing like a little prison. Give our regards to Scorch. We won't be able to communicate while I'm near the Skull Squadron mobile base, so you're in charge, Ring Section Commander Gale. Yes, sir. It's Kirkov! Let's dust him! Not yet, fool. Maybe he'll lead us to the meteor. Ring Commander on the bridge. Ring Commander? You? At ease. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Status report, Yakamura. Kirkhoff's estimated time of arrival, 2 minutes 20 seconds. No enemy craft on radar. Hey, but she's a woman. It seems Baron von Claudites doesn't agree with Ring Commander Vector's judgment. How about you? <laughs> Me? I'm from the future. By the year 2035, there will have been three women presidents. Good ones. I'm moving to the future. See, Hubbub? Kirkov led us right to the meteor. Now we'll take him out. Stay on my wing. All right, let's party! Missile luck. Justice, I have a bogey. Require assistance. The command is in my hands. <laughs> I'll help Kirkhoff. A scramble nightingale. Eh, she shouldn't go alone. If she fails, the Earth will be destroyed. I can't see! <laughs> I got him! Think again. You want something done right, follow me in. <gasps> Commander Gale, do you require assistance? Negative. Situation under control. Data update indicates radioactive breakdown is proceeding faster than we thought. Revised time to detonation, 13 minutes. I'm going to help. Jenny's not going to like this. Kirkhoff, the meteor's going to 
low early. You've got to get the grenade in now. I'll draw a siren and hubbub. I never thought I'd end up on foot in Siberia. <laughs> Poor thing. She's so nervous she misfired a missile. Dig it. Let's cream her. Perfect. Now to get out of harm's way. That was too close. Time to bring the missile back. Just fly in and drop it, he said. You won't have to set foot in Siberia, he said. <gasps> yeah! I hate Siberia. I hate snow. Okay, now it's time for the payoff. There's my missile, right on schedule. She's gonna try zooming up again. Yeah, when she goes up, do a steep climb and fire. No sweat, we'll get her this time. Uh, this is the Baron. I have your bogey, Nightingale. Break off, I'll engage. No, you break off. That's an order. But you're hit, and they're closing on you. Yo, the incoming missile. No joke, it's mine. Now get out of here. No. life to save us. My friend, where are you? I commend both of you for successfully completing your missions. As for you, Regulations dictate severe disciplinary measures that... Excuse me, sir, but as acting commander at the time, I believe the privilege belongs to me. By all means, commander. Then it is my decision that there will be no disciplinary action. So long as he can follow his commander's orders, man or woman. Yeah, of course. Uh, sometimes the best man for the job is a woman. Baron? Oops. <laughs> no, I won't send a rescue unit for an idiot who gets beat twice in one day. But, sir, that was hubbub. I only lost once. Well, I wouldn't count on getting a medal for that. You can both walk back. I know what I'm doing. I'll handle it. I'm in command here. You do what I say. You're not in command. I am I'm too in, in command, command here. You, can't you don't even anything. know anything don't about being in command. Me. I'm only in command.
Hey, you made it to the end of the episode. That's awesome. If you like our videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're in a position to help out the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. Be sure to check out our Facebook page where you can keep up to date with us. And go ahead and watch another episode of your favorite nostalgic cartoons right here at the Cartoon Vault.